Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we understand all the concepts of page layout, templates and title changing information. In this video, we are going to understand what is the difference between linking and navigating, what is the use of link component. What is the use of use router hook and how to set a active link by using use path name. Remember that each and every questions that comes an interview I am explaining with a practical example. So here first question what is the difference between linking and navigating. Remember that if I use this link component in my next year's application to navigate the pages that is called linking if i use use route hook for navigating my page that means it's called navigating and if i explain in a plain way if i'm using anchor tag a tag and i click on any particular link that is called linking but if i'm using any image any button and i click on a button then I want to navigate to another page. I want to go to another page and a website that is called navigating. So practical difference you see in this example, I tell you. So uh, right now I am running the last example. So I am removing this all and I'm creating a new one for that. I close each and every file here. Remember, so this is my page file that I want to use. So here I'm removing the navbar also because I have explained that navbar we have to use under the layout file. So this is the layout file under this I am using the navbar. Now I am closing all the navigations also like home and product in last application. I will create my own navigation this time. So I open navbar. You see this in navbar if you see in example also we have to go to the home page first of all. Here I have navbar has a logo or title name then we have menu bar home feature price disabled all are coming now one by one i am changing this and i am creating this to as per the requirement so navbar is there in place of navbar i say doctor weapon classes save this you see it will convert to got doctor weapon classes now from where i have this navbar i have explained in my previous video it is from bootstrap so you can copy from there how to copy I have explained now we have a home home I want then we have a feature so I can say it's a services then pricing so I can say contact us then I can say on disable about us and I remove this disable property because I want to make it active also so no need of disable I add href also right now save this and you will see that we convert this like this now I want to shift this menu items to the right side for that I have to remove this collapse you see this collapse I am removing I am not using right now anything I can remove a complete class also because I am not using any class here and you will see the magic automatically it goes to right side done now in next JS, all these anchor tag which we have in HTML convert into link remember that and those link is called linking try to understand so here I am importing a link and I say link from the next job dot link and in place of a I want to convert all the link so I say control shift and L I will press then I put here link and save this remember that Control shift L and every A is now convert into link that is next JS. Now in next JS or so react in place of class we have a class name. So again I press control shift and L and here I say class name save this and you see that each and every class is convert into class name. Nothing is changed here everything is same. But I am converting this bootstrap according to next.js or react done everything. Now 
I want to make the routes first of all. Now I want to create the routes. What the routes? Like we are home. So I say home is a slash. Remember? Then I say service. Service would be services like this. Remember? Then we have contact us. So I say slash contact us. Then we have about us. So I say slash about us. Remember? Save this. So these all are individual routes. Now after changing this, this home is working because it's a home page. Suppose, suppose I goes to home. It's another routes like this. I click here home. You see automatically I reach to my home page because it's working. Why it's working? Because it's a root. Root is always there. This page, web page, this page.js, this app is a root. But these route services contact us and about us are not available. We have to create. Then it will work. So what we have to do? You see they are not working. Not available. 404 error. So now what we have to do? We have to create these routes also. How to create a routes? I have explained you. Just go to app folder. And here create a folder. And I say services. First under this services create a page. Page.jsx. Here I say R A F C E. We have this and I say here services. Services and I can say it as a H2 because I want to display in a bold letter. Remember? So I say H2 here and I say it's a services. So service is ready. Then we have which one? In navbar we have contact us and about us. So I have to create the same. So go to again this. I create about us, about us directory, again create a page, page.jsx, again create rafce and here I create h2 and I say about us, save this. Then again I create next one is also contact us. So contact us we have to create under app, so click on app, here I say contact us, it's under this again page.jsx. R A F C E. Save this and here we create and here I create H2 and I say contact us. Save this. Now you see each and every link is working. I click on service. So service will click. You see service is coming. I click on contact. Contact is coming. I click on about. You see about is coming. So each and every routes is coming right now. And all these are linking. Remember all these are linking. So first concept, a difference between linking and navigating. So it's a linking. What is navigating? I'm going to explain. Now what is the use of link component? I have explained you that these link component are used in place of anchor tag of HTML and they are used to navigate to the web page. Now we are going for navigation. So for example, I am on about us page, suppose from this about us page, I want to this about us page I am here from this page, I want to go to the home page by clicking on a button, suppose, so I create a button first of all, so here I say button and I say class name also here, remember I am using bootstrap, so I say button and btn danger and here I say go to home save this and you will see this is a button here i click here and it goes to home page but right now it is not going to home page remember so this clicking of home page is called navigating because it's we are using a linking link component i am not using here link component and link component cannot be used here like this so we have to use here on click event on click on click and i have to give here a function so i say open home open home event i want to here i say const open home as a arrow function and here i want to go to the home for that i have to import use router and use router i have to import from a navigation remember so i say home use router but here i have to use navigation not the router Remember this most important I have to use navigation use router then I have to create here object of this so I say const router 
equal to use router i create object of this then inside this if i want to go to home what i do i say here router dot push and here i pass the home slash is a home remember so this slash is a home one so i will go to home just by clicking on a push button so what i do here so the problem is that because it run on client component so i have to use here use client also remember that so i say here use client save this gone because i have to run it on a client side client side rendering here i need so that's why i'm using use client now you see that it is coming about us i click to go to home and it will goes to home page this home remember service is there i click on home home is coming i go to about go to home and i'm coming on to the home page i can go to other pages also like this home and product i can go here also but i am not including these because these are used in previous example i am using the same here so using use router and navigating to the home page or other page here i am going to home page if you want to go to service so you can say uh, go to service like we say go to services so here i can say service services not service and i go there and i go to about and you see that on about we go to service i click here and we go to service page click here and i go to service page you see so this use router is used to navigate from one page to another page and this use router navigating process is called a navigating and this navigation process which we are using here to navigate to the another page by using use router it is called navigating remember that the difference between linking and navigating linking is also doing the navigation process but in next js you can say terminology or you can say in the field of react or next js application development we called linking means we are using a link component and when we use use router to navigate from one page to another page we called it navigating so you understand linking and navigating you understand use of link you understand use of router now most important part how to set active page for example right now i am opening home so you see this home is look like a active page but i go to service service is open but service is not looking like a active page why because of this property i go to navbar and you see that we have active property this property only in home that's why it looking bold but i want to set each and every active page as a bold or some other color like this you see right now it is also home home is also active service and home is also active but home is not active right now so we want to set this active page also and we want to change the color of each and every link whenever we set to active so how we can do this we going to understand now for that you see that this is a static linking that by using static linking it is not possible to do that for that i have to convert into an array and with the help of map function then programmatically i have to display these pages and then i have to check the path so for that what i do first of all i create one array i say const nav link and here this is array and in this array i use object in this object first i say name and i say name is home first of all then i say href that is link which i am using so i say this href and this home name should be home first means this first one first one is what first one is home and link is this second one is services and this is service so that i want to make so i copy this then i say paste and i say here services services and i say root services same i paste i say about us and here i say about us then i say contact us and here i say contact us remember that i am creating these linking here 
in this array and in my this process about us is the last one if you see about us is the last one now i will create this by using the programmatical dynamic way and this will go to this way and this about will come to third place because of just change purpose i want to show now because i have third one is about us then contact us so you can make anything but i am going to show you so you see that uh, this one is repeating each and every way this one nav item this one we are repeating in each and every link this part we are repeating you see same so what i do here i create array inside this i use this array nav link inside this this nav link array i want to use here and display each and every item menu items with that so i say nav link dot map remember inside this i have arrow function like that way and here i have link one link i will have here and i want to return the value what i want to return i want to return this part of code so i cut it i paste here i save this save this you see remember so this linking is coming inside this map and in place of href because it's the linking i say link dot href in place of home i say link dot name remember save this if you will see you will see that so some problem is there that's why not coming so we say the problem so nav link is the name of the this is a nav link array which we created name we have href we have and uh, under this i have this one and uh, i remove all other things because maybe from this i am getting some problem so i remove each and every extra item save this save this oh the problem is it's a name n a m e not a him that is a problem so if you see that home service about us and contact us all are coming here it was a just a spelling mistake in place of name i have a him so him is nothing you see in this array we have only two value name and href not a him that's why what was not displaying so now we have the same thing remember that the same output we have home we have home is working service is working about is working contact us is working but we are creating or displaying this by using a dynamic rendering you see it's called dynamic rendering so small line of code and with the help of array if we want to increase more navigation we can just write in array and automatically we will reflect here but with the help of this we can find out the active link how we can find out for that we have another kind of hook so i say import use path this use path i need from navigation and this use path will have a path so i say path equal to use path like this save this so i have a path from this now i check this path inside this function i say const is active equal to path equal to equal to equal to link dot href remember if the active link is equal to equal to the link which we have open that means it's a true if it is true then i will check here and i say if it is true is active then question mark then make this active otherwise we say nav link only you see and here i put it like this remember so if it is active then should be active otherwise this we can change the color also because i'm using bootstrap so i say text color here is danger means red if it is open and if it is not opening so we can say text color is success means the green color and you see automatically all are green contact us is active so it's co convert to red color we can make it bold also some other setting we can do if you know bootstrap you can make that also for bold also we can take help of bootstrap so i say fw bold save this and you see active link is now bold so easily you can identify it's an active link so each and everything we are doing with the help of bootstrap here and i explain you that 
how to create or identify active link in your routing so with the help of use path we identified the current path and then in a map function we just identify this one match the active link and we display this so we set it bold with the help of bootstrap so now i have given the answer of all the questions given here and at the last we have set the active link also with the help of use path name in routing so i think you understand it it's a very very simple example to understand and if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.